Up next is one of the big fears when you order food that the driver is going to get into it. It's the number one fear. That's why I don't do it. It's not that uncommon. A new survey um, found that of 500 delivery drivers yeah. they surveyed, 28% of them admitted to taking food from a delivery. When asked if they're often tempted by the smell of the food they deliver, over half said yes. Oh, I couldn't do the job, man. I know it. No, You'd there's be no way. Everyone's food. So <laughs> I they, would just be so hungry. I wouldn't eat their food, but I would be. <laughs> I would be a thousand pounds. The question they also asked was this: If you ordered a burger and fries, and the deliverer grabbed a few fries along the way, how upset would you be? Uh, what's the scale? With one being no big deal to ten, meaning absolutely unacceptable. Twelve. Yeah, it's, it's an unacceptable. <laughs> you can't because to me, I just I can't even imagine what your fingernails look like. I can't even imagine what you've touched, what you've scratched, and then you've you've reached in and and touched all the fries around the ones you actually grabbed. What I don't understand is you're trusting your food, which is like one of the most important things to be a human and live. Yep. To somebody that's gonna make uh, like two dollars for a forty-five minute drive. Yeah, you're right. The, the key is to order food that no one wants to eat. Right. What do you mean? That's what's so hard. So you know, like not quinoa. burgers and fries. Yeah, that's well, what's tough. You know, like yeah, the Thai like food. Yeah, like no. octopus. I do, but I don't have, I never have problems when I do food delivery. The average just, response was 8.4 out of 10, by the way, the people that said that how upset they'd be if the sure. driver yeah. started eating their food. 8.4 out of 10. But there's still some people that obviously it's not like, it's bad, but not the end of the world. I just would mm. much rather pay like a way higher price for them to deliver it. I, I trust for some reason. Maybe I'm wrong because for some reason I trust like uh, a restaurant that has their own delivery people. Well, because that person's yeah. locked compared into that to restaurant. Like, yeah, compared to like, like a DoorDash, I feel like there's more accountability. Or yeah. Something. When consumers were asked if they would like restaurants to use tamper-evident labels to address the issue, 85% responded yes. But again, 15% are like whatever. Yeah. Yeah, there's people that I don't think that bother. Those are the kind of people that'll grab the like roller grill stuff. And I'm the opposite of that, where I'm like, ooh, any nobody around the food. <laughs> yeah, no yeah, food. you don't mind roller grill stuff, James. But when it comes to food delivery, how upset would you be if they had took a couple of your fries? Oh, if they just took some of my food, I'd be furious. Yeah, yeah, you know? sure. Um, like I was all on board with the the like food delivery stuff too until I had a bad. You know, situation. A really, really dirty person yeah. delivered some food, and I had diarrhea for the weekend. So, oh, get only <laughs> you only I'm associated. Yeah, yeah. I'm, left yeah. Yeah. a weekend of diarrhea. A weekend of diarrhea. Okay. I'm drawing the conclusions guy. to the delivery guys. You know, it's the one that caused Listen, the diarrhea. What if so. I got cheesy nacho fries, and then a guy reached in there with like he had just gone to the bathroom. He doesn't wash his hands. Fries coming from Taco Bell to yeah. my delicious, uh, my delicious belly. And you stuck your fingers in there. I'm going to cut your hand off. Mm -hmm. um, see, and people are going back and forth here. Someone said, what's the difference? You know, wait staff is stealing your French fries and onion rings at a restaurant before they bring you the food. What's they the difference? They shouldn't be. Well, of what, course where, they shouldn't. Where are you eating at? Most Isley uh, Cantina. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I would assume most restaurants frown upon a waiter or waitress eating your food before they bring in, before they bring it out to the table. Yep. Yeah, that's not that can never. If you got busted doing that one, well, like when we worked at Red Lobster, if anyone was caught doing that, you'd be oh, gone. Man. Yeah, 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 no, you couldn't eat that. So I did, I will admit that I had I had some time with the Cheddar Bay biscuits. Oh sure, <laughs> secret times, but yeah. not out of people's baskets. Just no, yeah, right no, they were there just yourself. Exactly. I'm actually more comfortable with with restaurants that are open. You know, you can, like see, you can see a yeah. lot of stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite. Yeah, I, I, I like that. I mean, let's keep everything on the up and up. Yeah, Didn't I like we see someone after, like, off of a tray, eat bread or something. Like, yeah, where was that? Greek, it, the Greek place. Yes. Yeah. It was at, it was like some old food. So right, like so they people, were clearing the table. Like bread or From the like leftovers that. from the, the leftovers. people. Yeah, I knew a guy that did that. <laughs> and we, and saw we saw Lisa and I were watching the guy just shove it right into his... Big old pie hole. I've Forget seen a dude it. eat out of a bus tub before. Oh, God. Oh, the tub. Oh, oh the tubs are the grossest of things. Yeah. yeah. This, is, oh. this guy was nasty, dude. He'd, he'd eat all the stuff. He'd eat it off people's plates and stuff mixed mm. together. Brutal. Brutal scene, yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, Andy. Yeah, I did not like that guy. Bus tubs. Yeah, the bus tubs. Have to be <laughs> the most dirty food receptacles. They're so awful. There'd be dishes and stuff with food on them in the bus tubs, and he oh, would... Yeah. He would Grab food oh, off of it. God. You should have put him like down. You should have got like, your dad to put him down. I feel like there's just a liquid on the bottom of that bus. There tub. was too. Yeah. Dude. Like it's that 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 bus juice. Yep. 
The good old fashioned. There's still a lot of those bus tubs around. I yeah. can see them. My I son guess. actually just got a job being a busser. Oh, and he okay. has his own little bus tub. Oh, man. Because there's nothing more unappealing than seeing that roll down no, by your table. I used to be a busser. <laughs> I hated it. Yeah. It's like, it was the grossest goes. thing. I felt like a monster of the other people. I'm the look away. I'm here to I'm gather. The, I'm here to mess it even. I'm the piece of trash that's here to gather your old plates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wipe it down with this dirty rag they provided me. My employer provided me a dirty rag. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the Quasimodo of yes, restaurant workers. Exactly. You guys want some bus juice? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Be gone. Customers Be gone. are asking to see me. They're holding up crosses at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the cart Holy makes water. that like weird, creepy Here noise. It's like, yeah, the noise it makes. <laughs> Here it comes. Look out! It's the busser. Sorry about this. Bussy moto. Look away. You gotta have the tables cleaned up. What's here. wrong with him? Everything. Cover the child's eyes. I've been busting tables for forty-seven years. Don't look at him. <laughs> 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 Sorry, folks. I hope Bussy Moto here didn't disrupt your uh, meal. Um, how about some free desserts for everybody? Uh, oh, Bussy Moto, fine. get yes. in the back. <laughs> you some You're cake like... right here in the tub. No, 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 Bussy Moto, not bad cake. Oh, someone's gonna, someone's gonna get you guys some fresh cake, okay? Oh, he got his blue rag juice on me. Oh, not again, Bussy Moto. Oh, man, oh, yeah, taking like this manager job at the restaurant was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I hated bussing tables, man. Oh. So some of the worst work there is. <laughs> I, I'll be honest. Sorry, I to, my, scru- sorry to my I, youngest child. Yes. Oh. No, I, I will say this okay too, though. First job. I scrutinize. Like when I see the busing start, say I'm at a table and and this table, these people have decided to leave. I will watch the people clean, and I'm always shocked by. There's like different kind of bus. I guess I was a busser at Bob Evans, which is an extra terrible place to be a busser. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Bob Evans. Yes, it is. They were like white trash busing. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. They're like, he Ooh. looks fine to me. Yeah. They're like that. That busser's handsome. Yeah. yeah. My that god. is good looking. My god. Look at how. Wow, that thing's spotless. I was. People were setting you up with their daughters yeah. and yeah. stuff. You know, he only left two onions stuck to the table. That's pretty good. There was the lady that greeted people at that Bob Evans. Had the smoker lady voice. Oh, it was deep. Oh my God! She's like, "Welcome to Bob Evans." (laughs) Oh man! Oh my God! You're gonna need a lot of weed to get through these years. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) That was my inner workings. Coming oh. this Halloween, Bussy Moto, <laughs> the Bob Evans Busser. <laughs> that was brutal times. That, I can get it. <laughs> I can understand how it'd be tough. You to done with through. your sunshine skin? It. <laughs> of course I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Get away from me, Busser. I appeared too early. Bussy Moto, back to the closet ah, with you. Ah, back ah, to the room closet. Ah. <laughs>